We are live. What is going on? Welcome to today's daily dose of awesome. I am Kate McShay and I have hijacked, <laughs> hijacked the daily dose of awesome. I'm filling in for Fernie while he's traveling a little bit and I'm super excited with what I'm going to be sharing with you on today's call, which is mainly going to be about how you can actually use one specific style of social media post and how it can help basically create a quick spike in interested prospects in engagement and how you do that through social media and what's going on everybody people are popping on good to see you just let me know if you can hear me okay and I uh, figured I'd take you into my backyard today and also um, the other side of it is the reason I wanted to share this with you is because if you're getting crickets, right, or silence, or you feel like you're constantly posting on social media and, and it doesn't seem like it's constantly engaging with you, then I want to give you a good way to kind of fast pace everything that you're doing. So while you're popping on, let me know who you are, where you're coming in from, and I will be more than happy at the end to come back, give you guys a shout out, say hello and uh, answer any questions that you've got. So I'm gonna hop right in and right before I do, if this is your first exposure to the Daily Dose of Awesome call and you are invited by somebody to come here and get some free training, then please make sure that afterwards, if you feel like you wanna know more about Elite Marketing Pro or see how their 10-day recruiting bootcamp can really, really help you get that quick, uh, quick I, kind of, I kind of like calling it like the fast track the fast track to figuring out how to use the internet to build your business, then make sure you go to EliteMarketingPro.com and you'll see right there, you can actually go, you can enter in your email and you can get the 10 day bootcamp. It is where I started, it's how I started my business. I actually read their attract Attraction Marketing Formula uh, ebook first and it was life changing for me. So I know it can do the same thing for you. All right, so let's hop into what it takes to really start getting engagement with people. And one thing that you could do, and one thing you could actually do today after leaving this call, all right, um, is a, a style of post that you can utilize. So the one thing I wanna actually gauge and I wanna see when it comes to social media is I'm gonna have you comment in and let me know which category your social media posting strategy or just social media in general um, where it where it falls in line for you here okay so when I think about social media uh, one thing that I can tell you is that I know we live in an absolutely powerful time a power powerful time to build um, to build your business right there's we have more access to people around the world than we ever have before we have more of an ability to be able to connect with people that actually would want our products and services or would want to join our team and so we have that availability in front of us however how do you reach those right kind of people and thanks for everybody popping on keep interacting okay i want to know what's going on um but in order to really get those people and get people to reach out to you what do you have to do right and what i've learned is that for social media and for posting typically people fall into three different categories okay and i want to know where you're at currently right now so i can make sure i'm serving you effectively with what i'm sharing so there's three different categories that i've found with people on social media and how it's working for them. So category number one is that it's an absolute gold mine, that social media works well for you, people are engaged with you, they love your stuff, and also you're getting people to become prospects for you, to um, join your team, to buy your products and services, to become a customer of yours. And so like things are just going really, really well for you, right? If that's you, then I want you to put in a one. If you are fall into category two, I want you to put a number two. Um, so category two is that it's actually, um, how do I say, it's a time suck, where it feels like you're constantly posting and you're doing the things that have been recommended. However, it's not, uh, you're hearing crickets, right? There's silence, there's, um, there's not much going on, okay? So that's a two. Number three is that you have a highly engaged following. People love what you're doing. Um, they're actually starting to comment in and engage with you. However, you're not really getting the compensation back from it yet. You're not necessarily getting people to 
um, become customers from social media or anything like that. Okay, so whether you're a one, it's an absolute gold mine. Two, it's kind of a time suck right now. And then three, you've got a highly engaged following that doesn't pay the bills. Just comment in and let me know where you're at. Cool, so I see a lot of ones, I see some twos, I see some threes. All right, well then I think all of this will serve you because even if you're at number one, there is potentially something that I'm gonna talk with you on this call that you may not have done yet. And this could pay off really, really well for you, especially if you're already in that space. And for anyone that's at a number two or at a number three, there may be a couple of little gaps that I can share with you inside of this training. That'll be really, really helpful. So when it comes to what do you actually do in order to get more engagement? Because I think I just saw somebody comment in and say, my team and I were just talking about how it seems like it's crickets. Um, there's something that I've been been sharing for a little while, and this was a big shift in a transition for me that made a huge difference inside of how, um, how, how I promote what I promote, how I share what I share on social media, and the reason I do what I do, okay? Um, and I want you to, to think about this. Do a self-check, okay? When it comes to posting, when it comes to what you share, when it comes to what you're saying, there's a, there's a mindset around the reasons we post what we post and the reasons we do what we do. And interestingly enough, if you look at, you know, the top producers, the top earners that are in your marketplace, okay? What you'll start to notice if you start to pay attention to it is they're posting with an intention and the posting with an intention is not to actually close a sale. It's not posting so that they can then get people to close a sale. It is a post to truly understand what their people want. Okay, so let me give you an example of the difference of the mindset of, and I'm gonna call it mindset of thinking with your wallet or leading with your wallet. And then the mindset of just, uh, and I talked about this on Wednesday's Daily Dose of Awesome call, of being a, a data collector so you can be a value provider. So here's the difference, okay? When it comes to posting on social media, there's lots of things you can do to get engagement. In fact, um, in the EMP Insider training, I have my top 10 social media posts that help you get rapid engagement. So if you're an Elite Marketing Pro member, highly suggest you check out that uh, training because it could be really, really helpful for you. Um, but just a couple of the different kinds of posts, right? Um, you can ask questions, you can ask fill in the blanks, um, you can, you know, you can ask if pe what kind of strategies people wanna learn more about but it's all about how you ask them. So example, an example of leading with your wallet, okay, is the intention of, let's say you post a question of, you know, what's your favorite color, purple or yellow? And the sole purpose of you posting that is to get a bunch of people to comment in so you've got more prospects to reach out to so that then you can market out your products and services or you can close them into your team. As much as it doesn't seem like it is, it is a leading with your wallet kind of post, okay? Or if you post something um, and it's a shout out to a teammate and the sole purpose of that is so that in the back of your mind, you're like, I'll get more exposure, I'll get more people to comment in so I can recruit more people. There's a, there's a mindset that actually holds you back, right? Because there's this vibration, this feeling in your posts that that those posts are being completed in order for a transaction to be made. Okay, you guys with me so far? If this is making sense, um, definitely just drop a yes in the comments so I know that we're clear, we're on the right track, okay? That's an example of leading with your wallet. And what I will tell you is that for my first 12 months in business, uh, that's basically what I did, is I led with my wallet and everything I posted, even if it was a post, even if it was a post of, you know, things I was doing for lifestyle, it was all with the intent of getting someone to reach out to me so that I could close them into my business. And I'll tell you that that didn't go very well. <laughs> so the other side of it, the flip side of it, is how do you become a data collector so you can be a value provider, all right? So how does that work? Well, what's the difference of the post, okay? So the intention of the post is different. So let's talk about asking a question. Questions are great to use, okay? So the leading with your wallet, what do you like better, yellow or purple? And you're doing it so you can get a bunch of prospects to comment in so you can close the sale, right? Leading with your wallet. Versus the other kind of question that you can ask is, um, 
What do you think is the number one thing that most people struggle with when it comes to losing weight? Okay? And the intention of that post is different because the intention, so let's say you're in a health and wellness company and you're looking at, you know, what, what could I do to provide more value to help people lose weight besides my product and service, right? Besides what I'm selling and marketing, what trainings could I do? What workout routines could I potentially share? Well, I wanna hear from my people, right? And so the difference of that post is that post is solely coming from uh, how can I better serve the people that might be interested in my product or service? So, and when you come from that space, all right, that was a big shift that I made. Um, I would say hands down anybody that's in your company that's doing really, really well or anyone that's inside of Elite Marketing Pro that's just skyrocketing through the leaderboards, um, it's because the intent and the reason that they post what they post and the value that they share and the videos that they do come from a different space. They come from a space of, I, I want to know more from my people of what they want. Okay, so asking those questions and a really good little, I'll give you a quick little nugget. So asking a kind of question when you say, what do you think is the number one struggle that people have when it comes to losing weight? Here's the cool thing that that question does, okay? That question, no matter what industry you're in, because it could be what's the number one thing that you think most home-based business owners struggle with when it comes to bringing in new customers into their company? Or you know, what's, what's the reason most people fear getting on camera? What you get is you get responses from people that share true fears or things that are holding them back that you can help move them forward with through trainings that you provide in the future. And the other side of it is that most people are not willing to share what they're not good at on social media. And so by twisting that question just like that, what you're able to do is you're actually able to get people to share their vulnerabilities without them feeling like they're sharing insecurities on social media. It's like a little sneaky question hack, all right? That's really cool. And, and so even if you do that, that's super powerful. Now, I know that there's gonna be some of you on here that are gonna say, well, Kate, I've done those questions before, I've posted those questions before, and I still am getting crickets. So here's, here's the two parts to how this works and then I'm gonna give you an actual post that I'm gonna challenge you to do in order to start getting more engagement, getting more interested prospects. Does that sound good? If it does, drop a one in just so I know. So I know that we're alive, we're alert, we're here, we're ready to rock on this uh, beautiful, beautiful Friday. All right, cool. So uh, first thing when it comes to getting more engagement on your posts, okay? Um, there's a balance between the amount that you post, and then how many people you're serving. And so what I mean by that is I mean, I have a lot of people who will say, hey, I'm posting you know, five times a day consistently, but I'm not getting anyone to engage back, and I'm not sure what's going on. Well, there's a balance between both. There's a balance between engaging and posting and growing your following, okay? So what I see happens a lot is there are a lot of people who come to me or they'll you know, post in a group and say, hey, I've been posting consistently, I'm, I'm posting all the questions that you say I should, I'm, I'm trying to engage with people and I'm not getting people to engage back with me. And so I say, okay, well, how big is your following? And oftentimes it's, you know, I've got you know, 150 people that have liked my fan page or I have X amount of followers. And the one thing that I want you to think about is think about the amount of people that you get a chance to expose yourself to is gonna be also be in direct relationship to the amount of engagement you get. So if you have 150 people, just by numbers alone with Facebook, on average, Facebook only uh, shows for free about seven to 10% to your fan base, right? Your posts. So a lot, if you have 150 people, not a lot of people are gonna see that post, right? So the understanding of if I continue to keep consistently working on building a following, and obviously there's training in Elite Marketing Pro on how to set up um, systems like, like campaign advertisements to grow a massive following, or there's things that you can do. You can invite people, can personally net with, network with people and continue to grow the following. But what I find is that there's a disconnect between the two. So if things aren't working where they're thriving and you're getting all that engagement, it's typically because, it's typically, it's typically because you're not, posting engaging posts where it's 
thinking about value and at the same time each day working on growing that following by getting more people to um, to you know to like your fan page or to to follow you those two things have to happen those have to be two things that you focus on each and every single day okay two things you have to focus on each and every single day now a really cool thing that's been working for um, a lot of people that I know that are just starting out when it comes to getting more exposure getting more engagement getting more interested prospects and also getting some really good ideas on what kind of value you can provide is by shooting a welcome video okay so if you've got a fan page and if you don't yet make sure you hop into elite marketing pro and you check out all their trainings on, on how to get that stuff up and how to get those systems up because it's truly truly valuable but really this is all you have to do okay step one is you can either go live like this or you can just record a video and it doesn't have to be anything long and I'll tell you a story on the reason that I tell people to do this because it positively impacted me from something a uh, seven-figure earner that I now know and a lot of you know very well too did and that's the reason I recommend this so you hop on camera and you shoot a video and it's as simple as this okay so it's a quick little introduction of who you are and the second piece of of what it is is that you can say I'm shooting this video to share with you more about me my background and what I'm gonna be doing to serve you um, on this fan page okay that's the beginning and if you if you want to know exactly what to say again just go back and watch the replay of this video um, so you hop in there and then here's the next piece share a bit about your story share a bit about your struggles that you may have had either in your industry or the reason you started your business if it's because you wanted to be home with your kids more if it's because you got laid off from your job and you needed something that would create an extra income for you be honest be real and then talk about the reason that you created your fan page because a lot of people again let's talk about that mindset leading with your wallet a lot of people create fan pages so they can do advertisements so they can make more money so instead, look at your fan page as I am creating a page to serve my fans. And so inside of that video, what you want to do is basically talk about you and then talk about your intentions of what you're going to be doing consistently on this page. Whether it's And what I want to do is each week I want to do a Facebook Live that gives you training on how to XYZ, whatever it is in your industry. Recruit more prospects, um, you know, lose more weight, live a healthier lifestyle, have more time freedom, whatever it is, right? Um, and say, and here are my thoughts so far on the value that I'm going to be providing. Here are my thoughts so far on what I plan and expect to do and what I plan to expect and train on. But I need your feedback. So if you can do me a solid and whatever kind of, you know, lingo that you use, that's mine. If you can do me a solid and if you can just comment in and tell me one thing that you think most people are struggling with when it comes to, and then you fill in the blank, right? Uh, recruiting more prospects. Uh, building your business on social media, utilizing video um, uh, in your marketing or something like that, right? Uh, eating a healthier, eating, li eating and living a healthier lifestyle. Comment in and what I'll make sure that I do is I get back to you personally and I make sure that we connect so that I can provide you the most value possible. You shoot that video and that is your welcome video. That's like your kickoff, that's your launch to this fan page of being a place where you're serving people. And then here's the kicker. What you could do is you literally can click this blue boost button and you can add in $5 or $10 and get more people to see it. And what's amazing is that you can actually target people outside of your fan base to then start liking your stuff. And the reason that this works really, really well is because this video introduces you it shares your story, but it also shows them that you're going to be this authority. You're going to be this leader for them, and they should continue to follow you because you're already interacting with them. All right. So, the, and then I'm going to I'm going to actually leave you with this before I start going through comments. The reason that I suggest other people do this is because someone very special um, did this for for me when I first started out. Uh, when I first started business, and I was very very um, uncomfortable I wasn't confident I was posting leading with my wallet every single day because I thought that that was what you were supposed to do right however um, Michelle Pesca Salido how many of you guys know Michelle give Michelle a go yay Michelle comment in or just you know yay something like that um, for Michelle Pesca Salido she's absolutely amazing um, in this marketplace I found a YouTube video 
of hers, okay, from way back when that she shot, and it was an introduction video, just like the one I talked about, right? Um, yeah, Michelle's amazing. And she, it was a video that you can probably still find on her YouTube channel, and it talked about who she was, struggles she had gone through, the reason that she started her business. At that point in time, she actually didn't have any results in her business or anything like that. So if you're thinking you have to have results to shoot these kind of videos, you don't. And, and she shared her whole story, and then she basically said, and here's what I want. I want to be able to interact with you, and I want you to follow, follow along with me along my journey so I can show you what's worked, what hasn't worked, and we can grow together. And that was an instant connection for me. I didn't know Michelle at that time. We're now actually really, really good friends. Um, however, I didn't know who she was. All I knew is that that video was exactly what I needed in order to help me keep moving forward. So imagine what that what you could do for somebody else. That there's a there's a shy, um, petrified Kate McShay marketer out there who's brand new, right? You have those people that are waiting for you to do that kind of video like Michelle did for me that give that more that give that strength that give that confidence um, and that basically she became an instant leader to me okay so if you guys think about it from your perspective if you do that for somebody else and you allow someone else to soak up who you are your wisdom and all of that um, it's a amazing, amazing things can happen and those things happen and engagement happens and inter interested prospects comment in and you get a ton of value. It's like this amazing circle of how it all works, right? All of that happens when you start thinking from that space instead of leading with your wallet to becoming that data collector so you can be that value provider and serve other people, okay? so. That's it for today. Again, I cannot recommend Late Marketing Pro enough and their 10-day prospecting and recruiting boot camp on how you can basically do all of this online for your business, okay? So make sure that you go to EliteMarketingPro.com, you head on over there, or you go back to the person that you invited you to this video and say, tell me more about the 10-day um, recruiting boot camp and I'm sure they'd be happy to share it with you because I know it's been amazing for me. It changed my life and where our business is now wouldn't be where it was today if it wasn't for the, the guys and the community and the team over here at Elite Marketing Pro. So uh, with that being said, I'm just gonna scroll through. I'm gonna say hello to some amazing people that are here and if this was valuable and you know somebody else that's you're watching them post and you're watching them post, you can kind of just tell from your from from what we talked about today that they're they're leading with their wallet and they don't even mean to which i didn't i didn't mean to right what's going on amy hey trish hey melissa hey sarah make sure that you share this with them and you give this to them because that one little tweak could change everything for them hey jennifer hey sally hey eddie what's up robert good to see ya i heard you're moving soon good luck with the move amanda we've got is it ansi ansi or ansi and I think, my gosh, you guys are so amazing with all your interaction. We got Melissa. Hey, Fasano. Good to see you. Hey, Dagmar. Hey, Courtney. Hey, Tosin. Great. I'm happy that you guys got such great value. What's up, Brandy? Hey, Deweese. Hey, Sarah. And if I skip past you, it is not on purpose. Hey, Dawn. Hey, Nancy. All right, good to see everybody. Um, appreciate you guys. Make sure that you keep tuning into these Daily Dose of Awesome calls because every leader that's on here um, is absolutely amazing with what they do and with what they share. And if you continue to just keep committing and showing up, um, you know, uh, five days a week to these calls, I can tell you that's what I did in the beginning and it was life changing for me. And make sure that you give Fernie some shout outs because I know he'll be coming back soon and he's got some amazing stuff. Uh, Amazing stuff all lined up for you guys for, I believe, next week. So take care, everyone. Have an absolutely fabulous Friday. And more important than anything, if you're going to take on that welcome video challenge to put up on your fan page, comment in I'm in because I want to know who's, who's ready, who's moving forward, who's really going to take that action and make a difference, not just in your life but in other people's lives. Take care. Talk soon. Have a great weekend.